Hi there, this is Clovis. This video is about Physics Painter 2.0 and we are going to talk about presets. So there are different kinds of presets uh, with Physics Painter. First, let's open the UI here and let's have a look at the source object. In the assets uh, list here, you see that each asset has a number of vertices, which is the number of vertices of the lower res mesh here okay and it also has a percentage here so we cannot really think of it as a preset but for example if i select these assets here and change their percentage value okay and if i quit this tool i can go back here open the ui and these percentages are still here okay they remain into the helper same for the verts, but the verts are actually taken from uh, the number of verts of this uh, modifier. So this cannot be, uh, this is not really a preset. Now let's go to the brush options uh, tab. This is where the, the main presets are going to leave. So here as well there are two um, let's say two layers of presets for example when i open this tool i can change some options here okay and let's say i want to do something like that maybe with those checked and attract and we're going to attract some force of 1.5 and i scale like that okay and even if i do not uh, create an actual preset if i close this window and reopen it the values i entered in the tool uh, remains uh, inside the helper so when i reopen the tool it takes these um, the, the latest values you put in there um, back into the tool uh, which is which is cool i mean if even if you close it by mistake or for some reason you can just go back here and open it and it stays in the tool. So if you have multiple um, physics painter helpers, which you can do, of course, with different objects and different collision meshes, etc., you can have a different, um, different preset uh, stored into the helper. Okay, so this is a, the current preset, let's say, the current values. Now, if I want to save them and share those presets or reopen the, the preset from, for another file from another uh, helper here, uh, what I can do is, uh, first we can reset the default settings here. When we press this button, it resets everything. So this is the default settings and we can save a default preset we can choose here a folder where we will store those presets so well for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to save that into the desktop okay and save it now you see that it starts to populate this list but this is the default so it's just easy to to get back to the, the default but you have this button now let's create a, a more randomized preset something like that maybe and maybe with with this okay and i will call that random and save the preset so now we have both and if i switch you see that my values are changing so yeah let's make another one for attraction for example Let's put that to zero. Mm. Yeah, something like that. And force of two, and we will call it attract. And save it. So they are all into this list. So now if I go to default and start to paint. Okay, this is taking my my default preset. Now if I go to random, 
see that when I paint, I have randomized rotations and scale. Okay, and now if I select attract, I still have my random uh, rotations and scale that as, uh, as I set in the preset. And when I release the mouse button, they should be attracted. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. And if you close this and reopen it, you will see your preset list again. Okay, and if you don't find them, you can choose the folder here. Uh, so you pick a folder and it's going to populate the list of your saved presets.